What is the strangest thing you've caught someone doing when they thought they were alone? Went for a jog one night and my usual running path goes down a street where a friend of mine lives. Noticed his bedroom light was on so I crept up to his window to see him playing the most hardcore head banging air guitar I've ever seen in complete silence. Don't know what possessed me to knock on his window but that guy flew the heck out of sight in the blink of an eye and never came back. To this day, Rahath's friend is still missing. His family is devastated. My ex and I fell asleep on the couch with the TV on. When I woke up in the morning, he was already up eating a bowl of cereal and following Dora's commands. Make a funny face was when I could no longer laugh stealthily. The perks of dating a 6 years old. I caught my 8 year old brother dry humping his male friend. Not laying on top of each other, but standing behind him, holding him and thrusting very deliberately, moving him across the floor. They stopped and looked at me when I came down the stairs and I turned around and left. I was at Universal Studios, waiting for my buddy to come out of the bathroom. I watched an older man play golf. He sat down at tee and imaginary ball, lined up his shot, and looked into the distance before doing a hushed cheer. He was probably on coke. After I graduated from high school I finally got to spend the night with my then boyfriend. He was staying with his mom and sister as he was home visiting. His sister pulls me aside. Look, I know you've known Alan a while but he's got some habits. Um, got my attention. He likes to play with his balls. He doesn't think anyone sees him or knows. He's an idiot. I laughed. Day or so later sure enough I saw, ever so gracefully, balls peeking out of the bottom of his shorts. He was playing with them, making a tent for his dong, turning the skin into a mouth and mouthing along with what he was watching. I couldn't look away. At this point he'd been staring so long I couldn't even bring myself to say anything. Can't blame the guy. Fear they're right? I don't think many guys make tents for their dongs, but I can't speak for people I don't know. Ever heard a 90% deaf girl sing a song playing on the radio when they think they are alone? You have a good laugh, then spend the next hour feeling like crap because hey, your butthole. My guy friend wearing my prom dress. I caught my 20 year old stepbrother marching through the kitchen, chanting Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade over and over. One of my buddies was laying on my couch in pure silence, staring into nothing while playing with his armpit hair. Roommate in college used to look up gay pee on my computer when I wasn't home. He didn't have a computer so he decided to use mine when I wasn't there. He always attempted to delete his browsing history, but I became suspicious and installed a keylogger when I started getting gay pee pop-ups while surfing the web. He is now married, has a daughter, and is a music director in his church. He has no idea that I know, and it's going to stay that way. That's actually pretty sad. You're a good guy for keeping it a secret, though. I had a pretty epically weird first year roommate in college. This one time, he had asked if he could have one of my chocolate bars my parents had sent to me in a care package. I said it was okay. He walks over to the drawer I kept them in, pulls one out, proceeds to walk to one of the empty corners of the room, squats done and of hurrah the thing all Smeagol style like. When he was finished, took him all of 10 seconds to eat the thing. He causally walked by me like nothing happened. Turns out this is how he would eat most of his snacks. I have a student job at the chemistry lab on my school's campus. The stock room is set up to where there's no way to see the people at the front desks while you wash glassware. And can't hear anyone come in either. I work the first shift in the morning so I come in and sit at the front desk. I hear my boss. The lab manager who is in his 60s, washing glassware, I then hear him rip the nastiest wet fart my ears have ever encountered. He then walked past me on his way to the bathroom. Walked in on a female friend rolling a condom out onto her arm in the kitchen. That took some explaining. I once walked in on my two male flatmates in a somewhat compromising position. Even more surprising given I only knew one of them was gay. Turns out they thought I was away for the weekend. Nope. Walked in on my roommate beating off to my sister's pictures. Does everyone remember that scene from Hot Rod where Kevin is singing to the stuffed animals and Rod walks in on that? Like that. But with my little sister. Hobo pooping an empty soup can beside a dumpster I was walking by. That's a classy hobo right there. 
Plus one for hobos that don't just dump on the ground. Saw a co-worker of mine pick his nose, roll up his boogers, stick them onto rim of his water bottle, and then drink it. I never understood why the frick he ate them like that. I mean, if you're going to eat them, why not just eat them freshly picked off your finger? He's wasting the freshness. Watched my roommate continually stick his hand down his crack and smell his fingers. But I mean who doesn't do that? One morning I woke up before my alarm went off, but my roommate was already up. I just shut my eyes and pretended to be asleep because it was far too early for human interaction. He was talking to himself of all the things he needed for class, which I can't blame him because I do that too. But before he left, he just said, alright, bye Mike, I'm Mike. He said goodbye even though I was asleep. I like to think he does this every morning, haha. <laughs> Finally, my time to shine. I managed a Thai restaurant connected to a downtown hotel in Portland, or, so, we, unfortunately, served American breakfast too. We had a small banquet room off the main dining area, which was frequently reserved by hotel guests. One morning I walked in to open, and, bizarrely, saw a 6am reservation written on our calendar. Party of two, for the private room. Weird, whatever. They walk in at 6. Two businessy men, looking like a couple college bros had gotten old and bought suits from Ross or something. Tacky. I take them to the private room, and bring coffee and menus. They're smiling too much and weird about eye contact and stuff. Either not looking at me or staring at me. I leave to let them decide between the oatmeal and the omelet. The room has these creaky carved wooden doors with a big gap in the middle, and mirrors on the back wall. So a clever waiter peeking through the gap can see pretty much the whole room. I come back to check on them, peek through the crack, and the room is empty. They couldn't have left though, without making a good bit of noise in an empty restaurant. I'm standing there blinking, when I hear something. Two somethings, actually, a bass grinding noise, like something heavy rubbed on carpet, and a newspaper crinkling. The noise gets louder and louder. Like someone really bad at tearing trying to rip up the New York Times or something. Then I catch movement at the edge of the mirror. They're still in there. In the one corner I can't see. I open the door. The bass grinding is coming from a huge potted plant in the corner. One of them is on his knees, hugging it, rotating it. Must have been a couple hundred pounds. In circles on the floor, around and around. Above him, his partner is swaying back and forth. Humming quietly, shaking a newspaper, neither acknowledges me, it goes on for a long time, can't explain it, don't want to, the more I think about it, the stranger it gets. The newspaper was being crumpled to cover the sound of the plant being moved, they were gangsters or spies and something had been stashed under behind the plant that they had to retrieve, they did it at 6am to be sure the place would be empty. I turned on a light in the middle of the night and my brother's friend was sitting on the coffee table in our living room alone in the dark with a phone book in his hands. When I asked him what he was doing his reply was reading the phone book I turned the lights back off and he just stayed there. Why is that so funny? Caught a co-worker sniffing the secretary's chair. I could've told him you can't really smell anything. This wasn't strange as much as cute. I was at my grandparents for Thanksgiving like we do every year and my aunt sent me to get my cousin from one of the guest bedrooms. He had been playing Pokemon for a while and she wanted him to socialize a little before dinner. I walk back and as I get closer to the room I hear talking and walking so I just assume it's the TV. But the door was cracked so I looked in. He was standing up in the room with his Game Boy talking himself through his Pokemon fight or whatever it's called. Calling out the other trainer, moving his arms to choose his next Pokemon. The works. I knocked on the door a couple times and I saw him flinch and jump on the edge of the bed to try and act like he wasn't just pretending he was Ash Ketchum. It was really cute and funny. Then I gave him a nudgy. I do this all the time. It's even better as an adult because you can trash talk. Your dugong ain't got crap. Swimmer Mike. How about a tall glass of solar beam? You fuckwit. Oh. Oh. A friend of mine, age about 16, forgot he was on webcam and started lip syncing and dramatically dancing in his chair to the ding dong song, including grabbing his chest and rubbing his hands all over himself. 
It wasn't something I caught someone doing, but what someone caught me doing. When I was a little kid, like 7 or 8, I had one of those huge teddy bears that was almost as tall as me. Well I watched the Titanic with my mom and naturally cried like a bee. I went into my room and like a freaking weirdo, grabbed my teddy bear and said I'll save you Jack and started to kiss it. And that's when my mom walked in. Whenever Titanic is on, she brings it up without fail. When I was wasted and completely delusional my wife walked in on me pee in her parents washer. Unexplainable as it was my drunken argument was that I was confused and thought it was a Japanese washer. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.